Hello, I am Michael Kaur, Dr. Sri Shailesh. Currently working in Apollo Cradle Core Mangala, Bangalore as a Chief Neurologist and a Pediatrician. Today I will be discussing about uh, IUGR. IUGR is uh, intrauterine growth uh, restrictions where the baby's weight is less than the 10th percentile to the particular gestation age. Uh, we usually classify IUGR into two categories, asymmetrical and asymmetrical. Asymmetrical is the most common, 80% of the IUGR are asymmetrical, where uh, growth restriction of the fetus has occurred in the later part of the pregnancies, whereas symmetrical IUGRs, where uh, the growth restriction occurs throughout the pregnancies. Symmetrical is uh, very rare and it is uh, comprised of about 20% about, uh, of the total IUGR. What are the causes for the IUGR? The maternal causes such as uh, malnutrition, anemia, uh, low weight, uh, not gaining a weight during the pregnancy, drug abuse, smoking, alcohol, uh, uh, multiple gestation, gestations, uh, diabetes, hypertension, these all can cause uh, uh, intrauterine growth uh, retardation. So why intrauterine uh, growth retardation is so important? Because it associates with a certain complication in the babies. So managing becomes very tricky in an NIH because these babies tend to have certain complications which is, uh, such as uh, polycythemia where the RBC count is much higher uh, so other than this, uh, there can be a low platelet counts, uh, the white blood cells will be uh, lower in these babies, uh, there can be uh, feed intolerance where the baby may, can have a certain vomitings, uh, abdominal distensions and these are the most uh, common complications that are associated with the uh, IUGR babies. When we see in the uh, long term, some babies can have a low IQ, that is uh, can have a poor uh, neurodevelopmental uh, outcome. So following of uh, these babies in uh, OPDs becomes very very important. Till now uh, in the last uh, 12 uh, months we have seen around uh, uh, 33 babies of an IUGR. Uh, fortunately we all uh, had a, a good uh, neurodevelopmental outcome and uh, there is no any morbidity till now.